Hey guys, Jay Siemens here with Old Town, and today I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks to catch some walleyes from your kayak. Guys, first piece of advice I'm gonna give you if you wanna target walleyes from your kayak is get yourself some electronics. You know, a lot of species you can get away with just fishing shoreline and what you can see visibly, but the thing about walleyes, especially at this time of year, middle of summer, is they're pulling deeper. We're gonna be fishing 15 to 25 foot rock reefs, and without your electronics, you wouldn't know they're there. So if your lake has mapping, get yourself, you know, your local maps, get the map chip. Um, if you don't have that, you know, this graph has auto charting capabilities, which means it'll create a map as you drive. Um, but something like this just takes away so much guesswork when you're trying to find those offshore fish. Tip number two is trolling. You know, you might have a spot in mind, you might have a spot that you saw on your depth chart that is a hump you want to go to or a reef or something, but you may as well troll your way there anyways. It's a good way to contact fish. And even when you're there at that spot, trolling is a good way to break apart a big spot and maybe find the spot on the spot where the fish are concentrated. So there's kind of two main tactics I like to use or two main lures. One of them being a crankbait, um, gets down deep, it's big, it's loud, it targets and triggers big fish. But what we're gonna do today is we're gonna pull a bottom bouncer with a spinner on the back and a chunk of night crawler. This catches so many fish and it's just a good way to, to cover water when the fish are scattered. And if you need to pedal or paddle anyways, you might as well have a lure out. So we're gonna put some crawler on and we're gonna start trolling. So with bottom bouncing, I like to go pretty slow. For crankbaits, I'll go a little faster, but I'm looking at staying around that 0 0.7, 0 0.8 mile an hour. And the key is just to tick the bottom. I don't wanna be necessarily dragging that weight in the bottom the whole time, but I just wanna feel bottom and then lift it up to keep it in that strike zone because walleyes like to eat often pretty tight to the bottom. So now I'm watching my graph, looking for any pods of fish and we're just kind of cruising, seeing if we can find any offshore structure. Hooked up. The bites are so subtle with the spinner. Sometimes you just feel a slight tick and it just tightens up. Got a decent fish here. Gonna slide the net under our first walleye. So that's the cool thing. If you need to go around and scout, you know, do some mapping, you may as well have a line out trolling. And we got a beautiful walleye to start off the night. Hooked perfectly in the corner of the mouth. We popped it out. Nice little Canadian shield walleye. That's the first, hopefully, of many. There we go. Hooked up. Ooh, this feels good. So we're kind of keying in. It seems like 15 feet has been the sweet spot. All right, guys, I think we're starting to figure it out. Second one of the night, 15 feet of water, just like the other one, and uh, they're getting bigger. We've caught a couple nice fish trolling, but now it is time to key in on them, to find that spot on the spot. For us, today, we're finding them kind of in that 15-foot range off these couple main lake points. You know, for you, it might be on a specific weed bed, might be on a specific rock pile. But the thing is to then key in on those fish and lock in on the spot. Right now, we're actually marking a couple. But that might be throwing the anchor, that might be pressing spot lock on your Minn Kota. Whatever it is, you know, staying on top of those fish and being precise. As well, your technique's probably gonna change. Instead of trolling, now I'm going vertical. I'm snapping a jig and wrap right now. Um, you could use a jig and a piece of night crawler. You could use uh, a drop shot and a leech. I mean, there's lots of options, but changing to a vertical approach will let you stay a lot more precise and right on top of those fish once you have them dialed in. Nice mark right here. Ooh, ooh, the sun is set and we are on them. Well guys, we sorted through a bunch of fish and it paid off. Hopefully those couple tips and tricks help you land a couple more walleyes on your next outing. See you guys next time.